Hello everybody, welcome to the final match of the uh, play-ins first round. We've got GVTM with humans up against World Sitar with or uh, Black Orcs, and he's gone really guard heavy here. He's gone five guards and a mighty blow, no block on his Black Orcs at all. And he's got a pro troll and a sneaky git. Um, a sneaky git goblin. <laughs> Look at this, he's cunning. Right, I'm, I'll pause this. Okay, no. I thought he'd, I thought he'd uh, only given them to one as if he was the pretend dirty player, but he doesn't. He's, he's, he's given some random cosmetics. But he's got the shiny green hand for the fowler. Um, okay, and the humans have gone three guards, mighty blow, tackle, and then two block catchers. Which is kind of standard, but I really, I really do prefer the extra guard um, that nobody's really going with. Yep. Yeah, no block seems crazy, um, if you ask me. Did he? Oh, he appled that. He just instantly appled. <laughs> and then he died. <laughs> so he instantly appled this one. That was a KO. So yeah, um, World Sitar went with 12 players. An apple and four assistant coaches. Oh no, he's gone two assistant coaches, two cheerleaders. Whereas Inarian went with 14 goblins. So I think the 14 goblins is better. But you know, this apple has kept this uh, black orc on the pitch for a, for a drive. Like, it's pretty good, isn't it? A turn one KO is best possible value out of the apple. Um, oh, oh he, so he tries to pro the really stupid but fails. So zero value from pro so far. Wow, this is uh, already a hellish start for World Sitar. I don't know who GVTM is, but World Sitar is, uh, you know, one of the best, one of the best Russian coaches there is. So very good at the blood balls. But a bit, you know, and not a rubbish team, right? Blackhawks aren't a rubbish team. The thing is, they're not lizards. Like that, the problem with them is they're not lizard men, basically. And I feel like you know, orcs are a good choice in this, right? Orcs are orcs are a good team, but they're not lizard men. So I feel like if you're going to play a team like that, why not just play the best one? Is 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 my point of view? No, gets an extra block there with only getting the push. For the challenge, I mean, the challenge is, is enough to try and win a, a, you know, essentially a 64-man tournament. Um, and <laughs> there's $5,000 prize pool. I think most people are playing the team that they think gives them the best chance, either because they think it's the most powerful team or the one that they're you know, best with. Like in my case, I don't think Dwarves are better than Underworld. Oh my god, Quad Skulls. I don't think Dwarves are better than Underworld, but for me, I think I'm going to play Dwarves better than I'm going to play Underworld, basically. And also, Dwarves are different to Underworld, aren't they? Whereas Black Orcs are just worse than Lizards. Oh, did he reroll? Oh, did he reroll? No, no, he just Quad Skulled. He used a reroll, Quad Skulled. The, the the dice log throws in a random pro failure, but he just literally quad skulled. So it's a bit of a dicing for World Sitar so far. Making a random block, you know, just randomly before he's put this ball in the cage that he's created. <laughs> he's not going in the cage. He's handing off. Okay. Right, I don't know why you would do that, but he did it. Going for a bit of a gym cage there. I don't know why this guy hasn't moved up as well, in case it was a, it was a hand, like, handoff was a failure. Really weird. Doesn't recover his troll. Makes a Kaz. 
and get sent off. Yep. Should have recovered his troll first, right? Like one, two, three, four. I don't think he was going to GFI anywhere, was he? So just recover him and move him. But he didn't bother. It's funny, isn't it? Like the like the basic ordering mistakes that happen, like really regularly, even with the best coaches. It's pretty. It's pretty weird how bad we all are at Blood Bowl. <laughs> It is really weird how bad we all are, because like you know, he he know you know he knows this obviously. World Satan knows this, and you know like I know it, and I make mistakes, and you know Inarian makes mistakes, and everybody makes mistakes. When you know a lot of them, they really shouldn't probably ever make them anymore, but they still do. What he could have done here is. Not actually that good, but it would have got an extra block. He could have got himself an extra block, right? This he could have activated his troll wherever he's going to go. This goblin could have come in here, and he could have chained. Uh, he could have chained this guy in. Or he could, so he could have got a surf. He could have either got a surf, or he could have. Uh, he could have just generated an extra block, which I think is worth doing. I didn't buy Blood Bowl 3. Oh, now the pro works. So the pro's been better than block so far on the troll. <laughs> and to be fair, like, well, the thing is, it's funny, right? Shall I, uh, shall I ignore this for a little bit? I'll, I'll just pause this for a second. I don't know what you're talking about, Dwyer, there. But what I did was... I didn't cage properly um, against Mr. Page because I was putting extra threat on players. I was getting forward with two more players and putting extra threat on players. And it's funny because Artemis was casting the replay of my game and he's like, look at this, look how bad it is for the underworld. All of his players are under threat. Loads of, you know, and, and Jim's really far forward. And it's like, that was really good, but then it allowed the chain push on. So, you know, you are getting something when, when you're giving something up, right? And so, like... It's not always a mistake. I mean, that was a mistake, I think. But the point is, if I hadn't made that mistake, then I wouldn't... You know, he he, he had the same reaction as me as, wow, look how strong this is for Jim, you know? Because like, it seemed like it was really strong, but obviously I'd made a mistake. So um, it is interesting. It is interesting that, like, you know, you can think, whoa, this is a really good thing that I'm doing. And then... Well, that's, a, that's a lovely GFI, isn't it? And then it's uh, actually not such a good thing, turns out. Because what I was giving up was the easy, the easy chain push to hit the ball. You can just follow Fanny and then... I think you have to follow to keep the ball safe. I guess it walks are so slow it doesn't matter. No, he was, he was critical after it happened, but the point was his initial reaction was the same as mine. Which was, for look how good this looks, and then it was like, oh no, there's a chain push on. <laughs> but but the initial reaction was why I'd done it, right? Like, that's what you've kind of got to do as dwarves, right? You've got to push up the field and you've got to engage them so that they can't they can't dodge off and stuff. But as it happened, I could have just taken less space, put less threat on, and, and had a proper cage that couldn't have been hit by a by a roger. And the thing was like hitting him with a roger took him out of position. Anyway. Right, so, I mean, this is pretty dominant, actually, by World Star. I don't really know how it's happened, but all of a sudden, like, the humans have got four players stood up. Did he just not bother standing these up? Has it been a boat down? Probably not. Brawler's rubbish, by the way. Absolutely terrible skill, Brawler. So bad. Is literally so bad. Yeah, so now he's given up these hits to just, you know, to a time. Yeah. It's just interesting because, you know, like, his, his initial reaction was the same as my thoughts while I was doing it. And then we both realised, oh no, actually, it's terrible. 
Whereas the sideline cage, he was instantly like, oh my god, this is terrible. Whereas the sideline cage... Oh, wow, this troll wasn't marked. This troll wasn't marked! What did he vomit on it? What happened? He projectile vomited and failed. <laughs> Why was he not marked? Where was he? Here? One, two, three, four. He did do a GFI. But I mean, that's a 3D. Is a 3D with a POW worse? It's about 50-50, isn't it? And I guess breaking his AV is about 50-50, except it can't go wrong. And then you're not based by all these guys to give an easy 2D. So I guess the, I guess the uh, first is a blodger. The vomit is like, there's no chance of a triple bolt down, right? One in 27. So even if it is slightly less... No, no, no. It, it's the same. The vom vomit is the same. Vomit is the same as a block. He was here, right? One, two, three, four, GFI. He did the GFI. So it's, there's no extra GFI. Um, it's just literally, there's no one in 27 chance of failure. But then there is the one in six, isn't there? Like, there's the one in six that he just hits himself. Nah, it's got to be better. It's got to be better. Just like, the vomit shit, isn't it? Isn't, isn't a vomit a one in six you hit yourself? Like, that's terrible, man. It's fucking terrible. I just fucking hit him on three dice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's my that's my analysis of the. Uh... Oh yeah, and I guess you break AV. Oh yeah, I guess the thing is, if you get him, you just break AV. Yeah. So actually, yeah, just break the just the straight break. It's really good, isn't it? Because then he just doesn't score if his AV is broken, right? You could pow him. And he could go 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, GFI, GFI, still be in range or whatever. Whereas if you if you break his AV, he doesn't score. So it, it, there's actually, like, a big payoff to it. But, like, you've got to roll a 2+, plus, haven't you? Glorious potato. Easy 2D, obviously. With goblinses. Gets the pow. Standing in Chun's column. And, uh, well, gets the AV break. Didn't need it actually, though. He would have, maybe he should have GFI the turn before, right? Because he couldn't score there even if he hadn't been AV broken. And have the movement to go back. Is this a blitzer? This blitzer could score. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, G, five, G. Yeah, so this blitzer can score. Yeah. But on a one he doesn't he doesn't get to hit the other player, does he, on a one? So it's not really forty one point six to break AV, is it? Because you've got to take a sixth off that where you just hit yourself. Right? He doesn't hit the opponent if he hits himself. Hmm. Maybe. I guess it's how much you value the stun, isn't it? I guess it's how much you value the stun. So it had to be better odds to get him down by by blitzing. Oh, I play on Xbox. Oh no! <laughs> and how much you value being more likely standing? Yeah, you're one in six to fall over instead of one in twenty-seven to fall over. It's interesting, isn't it? It's interesting. I'll all Goliath. Personally, I think you go for the three D there, but like I think if it was a two D, you know, versus like a dancer or whatever, then uh. Then maybe just take the 2D. Because then you're a 1 in 9. To uh, to turn over as well, right? So you've got the 1 in 9 turnover. 
and knock yourself over. But then knock yourself over and survive. Yeah, the turnover chance. But the turnover chance didn't really matter so much then. But obviously knocking themselves down did. So yeah, I think if it's a 2D, one in nining yourself, one in six isn't much difference. And then uh, obviously the, the knockdown chance is lower as well. Oh wow, this is is this just an instant instant ball hit? Nope, he's uh, failed a dodge. So it's a pretty likely ball hit, I think. But uh, instead, <laughs> he's getting 3D by a goblin. <laughs> <laughs> and then probably 3D by a black orc. Oh no, he's hitting the he's hitting the mighty blow guy. And KOs him glorious. The grab has had loads of effects to be fair. The grab the grab always does a lot, the brawler doesn't doesn't do a lot at all. Pro Pro's really good in that you can use it to greed every time, can't you? It's never dangerous. Oh, there you go. Brawler did something. Oh, well, it didn't. Brawler was used, but had no effect. And that was really important to free him up and get him more in the way. Oh, I pushed. We tried to pro. Okay. Wait, no, he used a team reroll. Okay, so I got confused because I thought maybe this guy got pro from a uh, from a uh, Pret and Nuffle or whatever, <laughs> but he just rerolled the pushes with a team reroll, and the game showed an old pro roll <laughs> because, of course, it does. Um, I'm not sure the reroll there was worth it. No. This uh, catcher like a million times now. Brawler does nothing. Oh, walks away from the troll. I guess it's just not going to activate the troll. Oh, another removal. Looking pretty strong now, all of a sudden. His world's the tower. He's down that black off, but... Yeah, humans are down as well, aren't they? Nine players. And like... Black Orcs are decent, right? They are like rubbish. They are like rubbish lizards. Like, the main problem with lizards is still like all of the strength 4 and 5, isn't it? So while these are slow, they're still, they're still good. Dub Skulled. So I had to reroll that one. But he's really burning through his rerolls, and Will Sitar is keeping his, so... Will Sitar will be pretty confident now, won't he? Because, you know, he's he's obviously defended successfully, even if he doesn't get his offence done. He's got the advantage in going in overtime, probably. Gonna go for the 1D. Oh, gets the pow! <laughs> Disgusterous. And he can't afford to block with the troll, I guess. Because if it goes stupid, um, he could hit the black orc and get hit on the ball, so. <laughs> no, Dryer, they're still, they're still a terrible decision. You know, they, be, be, The reason that they're a bad choice is because lizards are just better. But, 
versus, you know, they're still causing you a lot of problems. They're causing you the same problems that lizards do when their plan A works. Their plan A is nearly as good as lizards, right? Because lizards plan isn't necessarily using all of their movement. But, um, but when they get to like plan B and stuff, then uh, they're a lot worse. And just like versus faster teams in general, they're, they're, they're a lot, like, you know, their offense is more of a struggle, right? They don't have the movement aid. They're just worse than lizards. 100% worse than lizards. But good enough to beat, you know, good enough to beat orcs and dwarves and pretty much any team, right? They can still win any game. They can still win any game, but uh, just not as well as lizards would, <laughs> basically. Not as easy as lizards would. Of course, lizards sometimes get ten of their players cast, <laughs> and, then, and then they're really not good at all. <laughs> This is a wild move, isn't it? Blitzing from the back and, you know, wants to trap, set up a trap surf, I guess. Just hope that, hope that World Sitar surfs that guy instead of, instead of moving forward. But I don't think he is going to surf that guy instead of moving forward. I think he'll just stick a player on him and uh, carry on going forwards. Yeah, that's exactly what he does. Maybe he doesn't even stick a player on him because he's got dodge, hasn't he? Oh, had to do that GFI before the ball was there as well. Spooky. Grab doing something there. It's, it is it is a really pretty decent grab, man. Like grab is good. Brawl is rubbish. Thick skulls, mostly irrelevant. But the grab is really, really pretty cool. Pro hasn't done much, has it? It stopped one really stupid, I think. That's all it's done. Surprised it didn't follow there. Really surprised it didn't follow. Because now this guard is free. Instead of stuck on a troll. No, man, the guard does make them really strong. Oh, look how much better this troll follower was, by the way. But only a 1D because of all the guard. I wonder if he should have uh, hit the uh, Black Orc first, but I guess... Oh, he could, it would have been after being an uphill because he's a catcher. Maybe it would have been worth it, though, to get 2D on the ball. I guess he's got tackle, so it's 50-50. Yeah, that, that, uh, that troll follow looks pretty good now. 3D though here. It's the pal. Still got three rerolls, so you can afford a reroll on the pickup. And... Yep. Wow, it goes really far forward. Oh man. He uh I think he used pro there. I think he got to use pro on the really stupid. Hard to tell what's happening, the dice looks horrendous and <laughs> nothing's really a, <laughs> nothing's really shown on the on the thing, but never mind. Oh this guy's blitzing there. All of his rerolls gone. Turn 15, trying to get it to overtime. But with grab, with grab, this this uh, this is surely an easy solve because he can push him back. Yeah, do this hit, push him backwards. Now he's got the guard for the goblin hit. Oh wait. 
I guess he couldn't he couldn't have filled in that square, could he? Okay, oh he's got this guy free. Easy. Gets the plim plum push. Goblin, get it done. Well, there you go. I hope you're happy about that, Inarian. <laughs> the only person who wanted to see this game. <laughs> no, it's nice to see. Nice to see, isn't it? It was a, it was a pretty well worked drive by uh, Worlds of Dark. I do think he should have followed with that troll. I wonder why he didn't. Like, it's, it's like there's got to be a reason. Like that, you can't. You know, like. It's got. Obviously, he was thinking for some reason to not follow that. I mean, he could have just misclicked as well, but. I really liked following and getting on that, getting on that guard. Ooh, quick snap! Did he set up for the quick snap? No. Oh, I play on Xbox. No, oh, no. Maybe, maybe this catcher should have been there, right, in case he got the quick snap, and then might have somebody else back. Uh, <laughs> the ogre one in nine, <laughs> just instantly failed. <laughs> well, there you go. No, he doesn't go back. You've got to, you've got to click there. Right. Well, there you go. That was quite. It was quite cool. Anyway, see a bit more Black Orcs. They're, like they're pretty cool, aren't they? They're a new team. Like I do like that about All World Alliance and Imperial Nobility and and Black Orcs. You know, they're actually new teams to to see for a change. Like for us who've played Blood Bowl two for years, um, so that's that is like a good thing about Blood Bowl three, isn't it? Um, so there you go. Congrats to World Star. Commiserations to GVTM. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.